Good morning, folks. I'm here on the river again. It's raining, it's overcast, it's cold. Today I want to talk about vertical fishing with a flow. Okay. And I want to show you a few things on how I go about catching these fish when they're suspended. Okay. Stay with me. Let's see what we can do. Folks, we're heading over to our crappie spots right now. And uh, let's go over equipment right now. Today I'm using a uh, Garcia Kinetic Reel loaded with two pound test line. And I'm using a hand tied jig made by Mr. Perry from Texas. Okay. And I'm fishing this jig under a float. And what I'm going to do is fish these docks right here and these fish these docks are ranging anywhere from seven to nine feet okay so I'm gonna be fishing anywhere from three to four feet deep because that's where the fish are and I love these kind of synthetic jigs because I can take power bait or any type of an attractant and soak it down soak that jig down this jig right here will omit the smell necessary to catch crappie whether they're active or inactive I don't know but if they're not it's still a great way to catch crappie and to hold the bait at the depth that you need to to catch a lot of fish and by the way, this rod is real limber. Okay, I like a real limber rod when I'm fishing like this. And uh, yeah, this is a 132nd ounce jig with a number six sickle hook in it. Okay. It has a real great action. See that action? I'm going to start off about three foot deep. This dock is 10 foot deep. I'm just going to make a pitch cast under the dock like that. Let me push off right here. The wind blows me straight in. And this is vertical fishing. I'm fishing straight down with this jig under the float and I impart very little action to the bait very little it does not take a lot of action at all to get the strike there he is pretty good fish too now if y'all noticed I didn't jerk I just started reeling because if you jerk fishing like this real hard, you'll end up losing fish. And I believe that's a keeper right off the bat. First fish of the day. If he's a keeper, we're going to put him in the bucket. Them's good eating fish right there. That's a white crappie. White crappie. Now, I tell you the advantage of keeping that bait in front of that fish for a long period of time is a crappie's instincts is uh, they can't stand it. They're going to finally eat it whether they're active or not. Yeah, and that's a, uh, if y'all can see that, that's a 10 and about a quarter inch crappie. We'll just put him in the bucket. Pretty fish right there. Pretty fish. And that fish was about three foot deep. So I guess I may have adjusted this float at the right spot. But the secret here is to impart as little action as you can and keep it in the strike zone longer than you normally would 
for real inactive crappie. Now this is the way to go. There's the bat. My goodness, what a crappie. Here's a good one. You notice very little as far as hook set. Very, very important. This is a big fish right here. Big crappie. Let's get him in right here. Open your mouth. Look at that. Folks, that's what I'm talking about. Versatility is extremely important when it comes to fishing. Let's put that fish in the bucket. There's the flinch. <laughs> That's all it was. Come on in here. What you got in your face? Pretty little black crappie. Let's let him go back here. I just kept on to I triggered the bat. Look at that limber rod, it's doing its job. Here's another keeper. Come here, crappie. Here, let's lift him on the yeah, right. like it's a good fish. That's a good one. We don't have to measure that one. That one's close to 11. Let's put him in the bucket. There we go. Knew it. Knew it. You just didn't want to commit, did you? But you did. A little white crappie, just let him go. Let's go over yonder. There we go. That little devil right there tried to slip by me, folks. Pretty little black crappie, though. way out. Let's fix and move to the, to the next dock and this little devil hit. Alright, y'all gonna have to do better than that. Them's too little. That ain't what we want. There we go. Just got to pluck them out one at a time. Look here. Golly. That's getting a little bit better. You know, Elmo, uh, the, the hair's falling off of his head. And it's growing on his dead blank back, folks. What's up with that? Leave me some comments about that. Let's throw that little fish back. Come on there, crappie. Hey, there we go. Hey. This is a big son of a gun. And I tell you, I love a limber rod fishing this way. Whew. That's a good fish. My goodness. 
Come on in here, boy. We're going to have to put you in a bucket. Now that is a pretty little white crappie there. One of about 11, 11 inches long. Let's put him in the bucket. They can't stand that jig in their face that way. Thank y'all for watching. Hey, thank y'all for the support. Just pure thank you. And, Whoa. Whoa, whoa.